Hey, Steve Mignani here at Bernardston Auto Wrecking in Bernardston, Massachusetts, doing the junkyard crawl with a Ford tractor. A tractor, these aren't collectible, are they? Well, they kind of are. There's actually a pretty good segment of people who enjoy restoring and enjoying vintage tractors. But as vintage tractors go, this is a very special one. It's a 1953 Ford Golden Jubilee. This is the one year that the Golden Jubilee was celebrated, of course, 50 years of Ford history. And it was also the first year for the all new NAA series Ford tractors, replacing the N series of 1952 back. Now, the special thing about the NAA, four inch longer wheelbase, about 100 pounds of extra weight, even more streamlining on the cowling, and a standard four-speed manual transmission for greater speeds over the road. We'll get into all that stuff, but under the hood of NAA was something very special. For the first time ever on a Ford tractor, push rods. Now here is the engine on this one. This is the 134 cubic inch engine right here. But again, instead of a flathead, this one has a valve cover. Now the cylinder head is apparently out for service, but the valve cover, of course, covers the rocker arms and the push rods, which give this thing 32 horsepower versus the 23 horsepower of the flathead it replaces. So power was almost doubled, but let's take a peek inside of here. And we can see right here, the tops of those four pistons, again, 134 cubic cubic inches. Uh, apparently somebody's taken the head off to the machine shop long, long, long ago. But there'll be push rods, rocker arms, just like a, you know, a small block Chevy or a Ford Y block, whatever. But again, 1953, first year for the overhead valve engine seen in the NAA. And most importantly on these golden jubilees is this, the beautiful industrial logo there. You can see Ford Golden Jubilee, 1903, 1953. The beautiful artwork, the row of crops, looks like a, an ear of, uh, of wheat, I would say right there, but just beautiful industrial art right there on display. Now, if this engine wasn't enough for you, you actually could get something even cooler. Check this out. This is a book on tractor information, but right here, this is the Funk Brothers V8 conversion. That is a Ford flathead with 100 horsepower. And the Funk Brothers Aircraft Company of Coffeyville, Kansas, offered this conversion kit to people who wanted to get rid of the four banger. It says right here, farmers who knew the pop of a two cylinder or the rumble of a four or six cylinder exhausted, exhaust were startled by the bark of a V8 with twin pipes. And look at those two pipes sticking straight up like that. This again is a Funk Brothers uh, aircraft conversion with a Ford flathead. And that's a hot rod tractor if ever there was one. But other things that are so cool about the uh, NAA Golden Jubilee, again, are the four speed transmission right here. Uh, three speed would have been seen standard on the 8N and the N series tractors of 52 and earlier. And again, that fourth gear allowed a greater road speed as the farmer made his way from field to field uh, as these things became more and more civilized. Uh, at the back, we see here, the three-point hitch, which is uh, an invention of uh, Harry Ferguson, an Irishman who made Ferguson tractors in Europe. And before Ferguson came up with a triple hitch right here, the problem with pulling something behind your Ford tractor or any tractor was that if you hit a root, the tractor could do a wheelie and over you went. You got crunched. It wasn't good. So Harry Ferguson patented his idea for the triple hitch right here, where any obstructions under the ground actually forced the tractor down and didn't make it do a wheelie. Now, here's the thing. In 1939, Henry Henry Ford and Harry Ferguson, the Irishman, had a handshake agreement for Ford tractors to use the Ferguson system. That's why you'll see a little badge that says Ferguson system on 39 through 52 Ford tractors. Well, in the end, apparently Henry did something naughty and Harry ended up suing Ford for $251 million breach of contract or something like that. In the end, in 52, Ford settled for $9.4 million and the Ferguson system continued in use, but the Ferguson badge went away once Ford had paid off Ferguson. Now on this, we also see the power takeoff right here. And one major thing, this is of course is for powering any number of possible tools or fixtures off the back implements. Uh, the thing is that also in 52 would have run the hydraulic pump, which means that if you wanted to use the, a bucket loader with hydraulics, you had to have the PTO working. Well, the NAA of 53 changed all that. On the right hand side of the engine, that thing right there, that's a hydraulic pump which is always running. If the engine was running, that was running. And that got away from the need to engage the power takeoff if you wanted to run any hydraulic implements off the front of the, uh, the tractor. So again, a safety measure and um, 
Again, four tractors moving from strength to strength. And again, here's that four-speed manual transmission. And we can see right here, the speedometer, might need an insert, not sure. We can see the speedometer has speeds in uh, first gear and second gear. This is the RPMs, third. So each of those rings, black, white, black, white, gave you the uh, maximum speed in that particular gear based on engine RPMs. And of course, full gauges here, temperature, oil pressure, maybe, uh, maybe uh, who knows what on that side, maybe the voltmeter or something like that. And again, this one here is uh, very, very collectible. The beauty of these things is how Ford branded these things. The Ford logo stamped in right there. And uh, just a good looking tractor. And the beauty again of tractors is unlike a 58 um, Thunderbird or whatever, a passenger car, which can turn to paper thin metal, tractors are heavy. I mean, these things just don't suffer structural rust unless they've been underwater. But speaking of that golden jubilee, this is a book that Ford came out with in 1953. Ford at 50. And this is something that was sent out on American Story. This is Ford patting itself on the back as they rightfully should have. Compliments of the from the Ford Corner Automobile Sales Company, Corporate Dwight and Liberty Street, Springfield, Mass. And here inside of this, Ford basically, here's Henry Ford and uh, all the Ford family, the kids, Ford II, uh, Edsel, etc. And here is, of course, Henry Ford II, who was at the wheel well into the 70s, kind of a maverick fellow. But here is basically Ford revolutionizing the American uh, road and, of course, going from Model Ts to superhighways in a mere 50 years. But here we have on this page here, uh, a man without a hoe. Now that resembles my uh, life right now, but with that said, here is the 8N tractor that came out before right there. And these are tractors that really helped to revolutionize. Now the Ford tractor was lighter generally than a John Deere or a Case or an International Harvester. And that was kind of Ford's thing. Ford said that my tractors are lighter, you get more out of them. And he was probably right, lighter can be better. But here we have here, the modern farmer, Van Dyke points out, is not a young man with a hoe. He is a man with his own gasoline pump. So in other words, no longer with uh, horses, etc. And no hose either, for that matter. So that's the story of the 1953 Ford Golden Jubilee NAA Series tractor. Uh, a great example of the breed right here. And again, one-year deal. If you're a Ford tractor collector, this is kind of your 55 T-Bird, your AC Cobra, right here at Burnston Auto Wrecking. So if you like this video, be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, give us, uh, ring the bell so that tomorrow morning you'll know when the next video comes out, which is tomorrow morning, self-explanatory. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow.